I am so honored to be interviewing right now, Mr. Morris Khan. Yes. So you are known for being a business pioneer, an innovator, a philanthropist, and today the word innovation is thrown around all the time. But I want to know from the real innovator, what do you think innovation means? How do you define innovation? How do I define? Innovation. Innovation. Innovation is obviously just something new. But when we're talking about innovation in the, in the commercial sense, you have something which you believe is different, will make a contribution, and you prepare to work at it. And uh, it's a challenge. Wow. Now, you founded an NGO dedicated to keeping Israel's beaches and rivers clean. Even before people understood the importance of sustaining our environment. Tell me about your vision and why nature is so important to you. We live on this little planet, and this little planet is under pressure. And one of the great pressures is really temperature. Temperature and water. We have to solve this problem. But what we've done is I formed an organization to fight to make the environment in which we live a healthier, cleaner environment, and, and we've actually fought. I fought the first environmental fight in Israel. What the, year was that? That was in the early days when I pretty much had just arrived. The Shayetit, people who train and work underwater for the army, they were coming down with cancer, and I realized there was something wrong. And I did some research and I forced the army to stop training in the Kishon. The Kishon was killing our young divers. And this was the first environmental fight in Israel, and I won it. Incredible. Now, today, so many years later, you are most known for Space IL and your investment in sending us, Israel, to the moon. Yeah. So what's next for Israel's space program? Okay, the, the, the Space AL program was to put a, 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 um, a satellite on the moon. Not a satellite, but a, a, a what, do you, what would you call it? Anyway, a, a, a... A shuttle? By the way, can you, do you... We're not editing, it's just live. Hey? Don't worry about it. No, can you, do, do, you, do you get this right in the end? No, no, no editing. It's just it's, as it is. They're just listening okay, to us fine. now. Okay, <laughs> fine. Okay, so we put the, the first was to put a project on the moon. And the objective was to make the Israelis proud and show that we could do something. It was an educational program. And we got to the moon. Unfortunately, we crashed. But we got to the moon. We launched a second program, which is in process now. Um, with right now, it's a bit of a problem. Yeah, the, the conditions in Israel are a little bit difficult, different, but I'm sure that they will survive. I am sure as well. Now, last question. You are a Zionist, and I'm going to say that Zionism is not such a popular word today. Okay. So tell me why you are a Zionist, and what is your message to the next generation who might be questioning whether they should be Zionists? The, the Jewish people need a homeland of our own. We've seen our history where we've not had somebody protect us and we've had nowhere to go. There's no question. We need a home of our own. We have just got to be careful that we don't destroy the home in which we're living. Amen to that. Well, thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> Give that back to thank you. you. Thank you.